Hello, Aries. I hope everything is wonderful with you, and I hope you're ready for your astrological forecast for February 2020. I know you want it short and sweet and to the point, so let me just jump in. First of all, let's start right here at the very top of your chart. The ninth house is your higher mind. It's your, uh, the principles by which you live. Um, and it's long distance travel and higher education. So uh, are you traveling? Have you gone back to get a higher degree? Or are you just looking more philosophically and very directly at your belief systems? Okay, Mars, the, the red planet right here. Wherever Mars is, that's what we throw ourselves into. That's what we'll fight with and for. You're gonna fight for your principles. It can be in the checkout line at the supermarket. You're going to take a stand for something. And then on the 15th of the month, Mars crosses into your 10th house of your career and your public image. And this is an opportunity for you to move upward in your career. Take your ambitions and throw them into action. I love that. After all, Mars is your ruler. All right, let's keep on going. The sun is the yellow planet. It is the giver of life. Wherever it is in your chart at a given moment, that's the area that lights up. Well, uh, it starts off in your 11th house of friends and hopes and wishes and group activities. And so you are the star with your friends. And on the 19th, it moves into your 12th house of behind the scenes activities solitude, privacy, you're gonna to want to be by yourself. I don't know what your projects are, but you'll be working behind the scenes rather than out front. And you might say, well, wait a minute, what happened to Mars? Mars is still out there going strong in your career. And this is why, or I should say that is why, you need time alone to chill. Because with Mars, you throw yourself into things. And the sun says, pull back, retreat, work behind the scenes, meditate if you can sit still long enough. You get the picture. Now, Mercury, the blue planet, of course, we know it's going retrograde, right? And whenever that happens, everything goes backwards. Everything gets confused. It starts off in your 11th house and you're talking to friends. Mercury is what you think about and you talk about. And so there you are talking to your friends for two days because on the second, it moves into your 12th house. It paves the way for the sun and it goes retrograde in your 12th house. Now, the 12th house is the subconscious. So there's going to be a lot of uh, dream work, a lot of dreams that will be or can be precognitive. Write them down when you first wake up because they'll be speaking to you. Okay, uh, Mercury goes retrograde. On the 16th, it goes stationary. And on the 17th, it actually goes retrograde. On a retrograde Mercury, we don't start new projects. So once again, you're gonna pull back temporarily plan, and after Mercury goes direct next month, move forward. Now, Venus, the pink planet, I hope you can see it, is in your 12th house, so you're, it's, it's there now. You're already loving your solitude and privacy, and you're saying, you mean I'm going to get more? Yeah. And on the 8th, Venus moves into your first house. And the first house is your physical body. It's the most personal point in the chart. It is love. It's money. It's all things beautiful. Well, it's you being beautiful. Don't you love it? And it's a time to uh, maybe uh, change your hairstyle, maybe change your wardrobe. But it's a time when you're saying, I love me and I'm putting me first. And I endorse that with Venus there. Okay, we've got two lunations. First of all, the full moon is on the 9th. 
in 20 degrees of Leo, find 20 of Leo uh, in your actual birth chart. In your solar chart, it's in your fifth house of fun and game. So it's time to party. It's time to be creative. It's time to have fun. And the new moon on the 23rd says, pull back and retreat. Enough with the partying. You've still got Mars in your 10th house and you're putting a lot of energy into your career. And on the new moon, that's when things start moving forward. The new moon is for Pisces. Dreaming Pisces. Um, the thing I love is Mars in your 10th house and Venus in your first. Passion in your career and personally, really liking you and loving what you see about yourself. It's terrific. So, happy February and may the stars shine brightly on you and yours.